We are the leading material and life science company group with consolidated revenue of 3.9 trillion yen and over 72,000 employees. Our four main group companies are Mitsubishi Chemical, the largest chemical company in Japan, Mitsubishi Tanabe Pharma, drug company with mission to create hope for all facing illness, Life Science Institute, healthcare service and solution company, and Nippon Sanso Holdings, the Japan largest and global fourth industrial gas company. Our business cover is really broad because we serve as an enabler contributing market from automotive, electronics, energy, medical, healthcare to environment. Putting all the diverse activity together is our mission, kaiteki. This is a Japanese word originally mean comfort, but we expand it to mean the sustainable well-being of people, society, and our planet Earth. Our vision is to realize kaiteki by creating innovation solutions for tomorrow. We also reflect this vision directly into our strategy and business management. Our decisions are made not only based on capital efficiency, but also consideration on sustainability and innovation. Measuring and balancing these three dimensions is applied as management tool across the whole group companies. Before jumping into Kaitech Challenge, let me introduce a bit about our motivation. As you know, two of the largest challenges to sustainable well being today are the overconsumption of resources and generation of waste. One third of food produced for human consumption is wasted every year, while 800 million people suffer from hunger. Food waste accounts for 3 billion tons of CO2 equivalent, and meat production accounts for 15% of greenhouse gas emissions. Only 14 to 18% of plastic waste is formally recycled. Although this is a global and social challenge, it has a personal touch because it is connected to our daily lives in the food we eat and the comfort we enjoy. As a company group providing plastic, food package, and food ingredients, we know that we need to be proactive in business transformation and to accelerate collaboration with external innovators when challenge is very big and solution need involvement of entire value chain. That is why we decided to run this accelerator program, Kaitiki Challenge, to reimage the concept of protein, plastic, and package together with innovative minds around the globe. We set three themes, which is alternative protein, waste plastic recycle, food loss and waste prevention, and called for solutions. The uniqueness of this program is that it is a collaborative program focusing on POC, proof of concept. Each theme is backed by business unit with market insight and channels. And startups are open to access to this rich resource to validate their concepts. We are so lucky to have over 150 startups who resonate with the concept and apply for the program. We are currently working with six finalists who develop compelling solutions such as oleogel to add flavor and value to plant-based meat, development of meat alternatives to serve Asian markets, blockchain platform for waste plastic recycle authentication, compostable antimicrobial packaging, and freshness sensing smart level to reduce food waste. Kaitik Challenge will continue until the end of September, where we plan a final showcase which is open for public. So it is a bit early to say what is the major achievements, but I can say we are amazed by the passion, energy, and devotion of startup to drive for solution. And once again, realize that we can go beyond the very different corporate cultures when we have a mutual goal to achieve. We aim for creating a real life solution. And this is the first chapter of the journey. 
we witness that innovations can burst into our daily lives at amazing speed. The things we thought to be impossible a year ago are now a reality. To capture this opportunity with speed under huge uncertainty, it is so clear that we need to change and diversify our innovation approach. Our mission is to create new business opportunities and options beyond current perspective. We have our subsidiary Diamond Edge Ventures in Silicon Valley, US, and our global team of 15 are working daily to facilitate strategies, projects, and deepen engagement with startups around the world. We focus to market segment where startups lead the disruption and change the rule of the market. The key advantage of working with startups globally is that we can participate into this disruption and participate to lead the change rather than disrupted by the change. I have been working in the field of startup collaboration and investment for 13 years in cross-country, cross-culture setup and see the major challenges between Japanese corporates and global startup in two aspects. First is the speed and second is the way of decision making. Many innovations are created bottom up in Japanese corporates. Therefore, innovation projects to proceed to the next stage or to get funded need multiple layer of approvers. It is a beauty of our culture to harmonize stakeholders. And this is very powerful as once it is aligned, whole organization is on stream for support. However, this skill the speed, which is critical for collaboration with startups because time is the most essential asset for them. We can solve it by setting a dedicated scheme and have a catalytic members who have deep knowledge of what is critical on both sides and drive changes. We establish an independent decision-making system for investment, so we are able to perform due diligence to execution in two months and align with the timing of the startups. Our team is a mixture of half member coming from external bringing in the experience as entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, CBC, and half coming from various internal business units who know the culture and people internally to drive engagement. This is the secret source to fill the culture gaps, gain trust, and drive partnership, which is critical to facilitate engagement with startups. We now created more than 200 engagement, and they are seed for technology breakthrough new business opportunities, and option for future sustainable growth. I want to tell one interesting character of Japanese. We think it is a virtue to use things long and without waste. There is a word, motainai means to cherish things you have and do not throw away when you still can use or eat them. This is maybe because we are an island country with limited resources and limited land. So we are born to be circular. We have a passion in saving energy and reducing waste. Circular is called wa in Japanese. And we have another wa we deeply appreciate, which means harmony. As mentioned, we may be slow for decision because we value this wa. But once it is agreed and decided, all members are aligned and show high commitment. I can say it may take time to cultivate, but once you are engaged with Japanese companies, that relationship can survive over time. Circular economy is not a one-year project and need commitment for decades to realize. This two wa of Japan, circular and harmony. I believe engagement between startup companies in circularity field and Japanese company can create new innovation to amaze the world.